Yeah. Oh, the guy who wants to see how Oh, now it's recording. Wow. No, I don't care if it's recording. It doesn't matter to me. If it's recording. Now it's not proof. starting yet. I just see his window shade. Go on. Oh, so I went out. For, my wife came into the city for dinner. I worked a few blocks from the. He was speaking in Madison Square Garden. The nomination was in Madison Square Garden. So we were across. We were walking across the street. The the hotel I think was called the the Statler Hilton then. So some Jew, Jew for Yoshka was there with a whole big bag of pamphlets. So I knocked it out of his hand and I started screaming at him. So he started calling police, police. All of a sudden, two cops grabbed me, and they throw me against the 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 ho- the f- facade of the hotel. And I said to the to the and the sergeant came over. I said, Sergeant, guy can't do this. He says, Listen, I got the president here. Meanwhile, one cop had his boot was was just sticking into my toes, you know. And the other cop had my my other arm behind my back. I was able to touch my yarmulke on my head with my arm. And the sergeant is in the, my face, screaming and spitting at me. He had the president across the street. And I better not do anything. And my wife is, is screaming at the sergeant, you know. It's good to know so you what, haven't changed in 40 years. What should I do? <laughs> you want to get When you do Masada Kedushin, you ever check the background? Who? You ever check the background? Nope. <laughs> But, uh, I, I had my background check. Well, that's for other reasons. That was a cop. So. Yeah, you remember the uh, I sent you the Rev David Cohn story with the with the Caesar Kedushin, I, which I don't want to repeat on the recording now. But I don't know. Oh, okay, I don't remember. Oh, vaguely. The Rosh Yeshiva checked my checked my um my papers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you I mean you do have to do some sort of check background check. Um, he, anyway. he asked for my he asked for my Garris papers. And I said, You let me into the yeshiva, now you're worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I hear. Um, how'd you get involved in this question, this this conversation? Can I ask. But saying how you know the the Texas really got on the map because no, yeah, of yeah. Palestinian, the Palestinian that posed as a Jew, that posed as a Jewish guy. guy. Oh, I heard about this. So I, I told uh, so Simon if he wants to get more clicks for South Bend, he should come out with something you know good, juicy. If he to... already had his uh, missionaries that were posing as Jews, so you know. Find, find some good missions. actually Tiago, the one in Arizona was the they were missionaries, the ones that uh Hickey got into a fight with over the mixer. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. All right, fine. Yeah, that's what turned them <laughs> off because they really just wanted to be the Jews. And... Hickey was so stark he turned them into Christian missionaries. Exactly. Now you get the picture. Uh-huh. There you go. There you go. All right, let's go. It's late a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a shvachada. I don't want to call it a shvachada, but it's quite uh, quite technical. Not hard, just a lot of psukim um, till, the, till the end of Amma Beis. Okay, so Lam Beis Amma Beis, right? That's we got to, we got to the Mishnah, yeah. So say the brachas, yeah? So what is the brachas? What's the order of the brachas of, of the davening? Of Musaf. So Aimer Avas Ugvuras Kedushas Hashem. So we say Avas. That's that's Mogen Avraham, and Ata Givor is Gvuras. Kedushas Hashem is Kedusha Ata Kadosh. The Kol Malchias Imahem Bein and Tekei. Okay. So before that, let's just make sure we're all on the same page. Malchias. There's three sets of psukim wait, that. Wait, where, where are you? I'm sorry. I. You said Lam Beis Am Beis. Lam Beis Am Aleph. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So there's three sets of psukim that we add to Musaf, three brachas that we add to Musaf. Normally Musaf is um, normally Musaf is your regular three brachas, and then in the middle is so you have seven, right? But we add three to Musaf on Rosh Hashanah, Malchias, Shifras, 
Zechreinus and Shifras, right? Sets of, we're going to see that it's 10 sets of Pesukim for each one that we add to, um, that we add to Shemun So first we say that, where do you put the Malchis? The Malchis goes together with Kedusha Sashem. Yeah, and then you don't blow the Shifra then. That's not the way we do it, but that's the way the Tanakhama says it. Kedusha Sayyayim, then we say Kedusha Sayyayim, which is Ata uh, Vechartanu, and ends with Makadash Yisrael Biyam Azikaran, Vitekeya, and then you blow. Zechreinus, and then we do Zechreinus Vitekeya, and Shoifers Vitekeya, and then we do Shoifers Vitekeya. Right? Each one of those has a separate bracha. Vaymer Avoida, then you say Ritzei, which is the Avoida, Vahaida, and then Maidim, Uberchas Kainim, and then Berchas Kainim. Right? Now, where's Sim Shalom? I don't know why it's not. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's not saying what Sim Shalom. Right, Diver Rabbi Yechon and Benuri. So I'm related to Rabbi Kiva. They made it to Kei Lamalchias Lama Humaska. Well, if you're not blowing the Shoifer by Malchias, because again, Tanakama said that Malchias goes together with Kedushas Hayyim with with Ata Kadosh. Right. So if you're not having a separate, if you're not blowing for Malchias Lama Humaska, why are you saying it? Eloimer Avos the Gvuras of Kedushas Hashem. Right. It's the first three brachas. This is the way we paskin. The Kailo Malchias and Kedushas Hayyim. You put Malchis together with Ata, um, Ata Vechartanu, and you put it together with Dusha Sayyam Vitekeya, and you blow. Zechreinus Vitekeya, and then you do Zechreinus, and with a bracha, another bracha, and you blow. Shaifers Vitekeya, and then Shaifers Vitekeya. Vaimer Avaida Vaida, Birchas Kayad. Right? So that's, which is the way we paskin. So again, so instead of being the standard seven brachas of Musaf, there's two more added. Oh, what do you mean there's two more? And there should be three more added, Malchis. Zechreinus and Shifras. No, because Malchias gets either combined with Kedusha Sayyim, which is that's according to Rabbi Kiva, and according to Yochanan Menuri, it gets it gets combined with um, Kedusha Sashem. Okay, so that's but that's that's the order of Musaf. So the Gemara now is going to go through all these Psokim where we get this from. So Zogni Gemara, Amr Le Rabbi Kiva, Emanet Dekei Lamalchias Lama Hu Maskir. If you don't blow a shoifer by Malchias because you're putting it together with, with, with Kedusha, so why are you mentioning it? So Gemara says, Lama humas, that's what Rabbi Kiva tainet. That was his, that was his question on Rabbi Yechon So Gemara says, Lama humas, amar itka. The reason why you're saying this is because Torah said you should say it. Right? Torah said you should talk about the psukim of kingship and the psukim of zechreinus of remembering and, uh, and the shoifers. Ella, Lama, Lama, Esser, why do you have, what he meant was, why do you have 10 psukim? Lama Tesha, let's just say nine, the Hayal Ve'ishtini Ishni, because since you're changing it from Zechreinus and Shifras, because it doesn't have its own individual bracha, so since you're changing it, so you might as well change the psukim to show that there's something different about it, but not that you shouldn't have the Shaifa, not that you shouldn't say the psukim at all, just knock it down from 10 psukim to nine psukim. That's what Rabbi Kiva meant. Right, so okay, so that's so he didn't mean to not say the things. Fine, so Tanar Abanon Minayin Shaimrim Avas. How do you know you say Avas at all? Is is that uh, is that a is there a Habi Amina not to say this would be the only Shmon Esrei by whole year that I don't say it? So there's uh, a Habi Amina not to say Avos in this Shmon Esrei. Um, yeah. So the so the so the Mefarshim actually I don't know if they're asking exactly your Kasha. But like, why all of a sudden are they asking? This is not a conversation. This is not Masech the Brachas, right? Why, why is the Gemara asking about to say of us? It's not, I think this, by the way, I don't know. I don't, this is, it's, it's, that, it's, it's really asking about the middle Brachas of Musaf, not the beginning. And Lachara, I think this does apply to all year round, right? Because the answer doesn't, doesn't seem to specifically refer to, to Rosh Hashanah, right? Yes, anyway, so the Mepharshim do ask this kasha. So let's see. How do you know you say Avas? Shenemer havu l'ashem b'nei elim, right? Given to Hashem, the, the sons of the strong ones. Uminai, which first we saw meaning, we want to first talk, talk about the Avas. Uminai and Shemim Gvuras, and how do you know you talk about Hashem's power? Shenemer havu l'ashem kavod v'oiz. Right? Given to Hashem strength and, and, and honor. And how do you know you have to say Kedusha? Right? So you have to give covet to his name. How do you know we do these middle three? 
אבל אז הוא אומר, תכסיב, שהבוסן צריך להיות שהוא המקרא קוידוש. שהבוסן זה הקדוש של היום, זיכרון אלו זיכרונוס, שהוא אלו שופרוס. ‫ואז מיקרו קוידש, ‫אם הוא אומר שזה מיקרו קוידש, ‫כדשא הוא בעשיאס מלאכה, ‫והיא מקדשת בעשיאס מלאכה, ‫מינינג בי דונט, בי נאט דוינג מלאכה. ‫אז אמר לה רבי קיבא, ‫הוא נאמר לו אינם השבוסון שבוס, ‫why don't you say שבוסון, ‫which means to rest, שבוס. ‫שבוי פוסח הכוסוב, ‫because that's what the פוסח ‫starts with there, with שבוסון, ‫so why not say that? אלא שבוסן קדשאו בעשיאס מלאכה, שבוסן means to be מקדש ראש השונה with doing מלאכה, זיכר אין אלו זכרונס, תשוע אלו שופרס, אין מקרא קוידש זו קדוש הזה יום. אוקיי, אז זה פשוט דבר אחר של דרשנים את הפסוקים, איך אתה יודע שאתה צריך להיות שתי סיפרות מלכיאס, זכרונס ושופרס. אז אני אומר שאני אומר מלכיאס. So how do you know that you have to say Malchus? Tanya, so we have a bride, the Rebbe, I'm Ani Hashem Alekechem. But B'chay Dish Shvi, Zu Malchus, Zu Malchus. It says Ani Hashem Alekechem, and then it says, B'chay Dish Shvi. So that tells you that you have to have Ani Hashem Alekechem, Hashem is our God, that's making him into our king. And we do it in the seventh month, which is Tishrei. Rabbi Yaisi Bar Yehuda, I'm Ani Hashem you don't need, you don't need that. Harei Yu Aymer, V'hoi Yu Lachem Lizekaroin, L'fnei Alekechem. And it should be a Zikaron, before Hashem. Shein tam aloyim an ani Hashem alikeichem. I don't have to say the words an ani Hashem alikeichem. Uma tam aloyim an ani Hashem alikeichem. So now why are you saying an ani Hashem alikeichem? Zeh bona av. This is a binyan av, which is a type of, 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 uh, what do you call it? Binyan av from the, that would be shmol, right? The shloish has to me this, right? That's how we learn things out. L'chom ba kushin ava ba zechroinus, yu malch yisman. Anytime it says zechroinus, that was supposed to, Remember Hashem, we put Malchus together with it. Right? And where do you know that you're supposed to make Kiddush HaZayim, which is again Kiddush, what we call Kiddush, that you say, Psukim, that when we Kaddish the Yom, Tanya, Rebbe, Yomer, Im HaMalchus, Yomro. You put it together with Malchus. Ma Matzinu, B'chol Mokim B'Revius. This is Kiddush or this is Kiddush? No, 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 Kiddush, no, Kiddush HaYom, in Shemayin Esri. We always make Kaddish the Yom, in Shemayin Esri, right? Okay. So, so he's saying now, how do you know that you put it together with Malchus? Right? Rabbi Yochanan Benuri in the Mishnah said that the Kiddush HaSayim goes together with Malchus. He says, We always see Kiddush HaSayim is in the fourth bracha, right? In a normal Shabbos, you have three brachas, right? At the beginning, you have Avas, Ato Gibor, and Nekade, whatever, Kiddush And then you have the middle bracha, which is Kiddush HaSayim. So on Rosh Hashanah, it should be the same thing. So in the fourth bracha, so you're going to have Kedusha Siyam together with Malchus. Yeah, I mean, the Gemara did a little joke for you. What was the joke? You want to know if it's Puma Kedush or not. So you said it's in the fourth bracha, in the Revius. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. I like it. I like that one. Right. You always see that it's in the middle. It's Afghan Ve'emza. Here too, it's also in the middle. Why? Why is it in the middle? Because there's nine brachas. So you're going to put it in the fifth bracha, which is the middle, right? Five is halfway between, between nines, correct? So you have... the first three brachas of like the standard Shemun Esri, then you have Malchias, that's the fourth bracha, and then the middle bracha will be Kedush HaSayoyim, and you, you put it together with Zechreinus. Fine. Okay, Shekichu Bezdin as Hashanah Ba'usha, and when Bezdin was being Mekadosh in Usha, meaning when they went into Golas, like we learned yesterday, Yara Rabbi Yochanan Ba'breich Lefnei Roshim and Gamliel, Rabbi Yochanan Ba'breich went, when, 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 he, when he means he went down, that's always a Lashon of he went down to be the Chazan. He went down because back then they kept, the Chazan was in the Mimamakim Kirasicha Hashem, like we had in Brochus, from the depths. The Chazan was always down, right? So he went down to David Omer. What do you say? Rav Heinemann. Rav Heinemann has it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody posted a picture where it was. Uh... Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, anyways, so Rav Yachin of Anuri, and he did like Rav Yachin of Anuri. 
which was that he put Malchias together with Kedusha Sayyoyim. So Amr Lai Rabbi Shim Lai Ha Lai Ha came by Yavna. Rabbi Shim told him, "This is Usha, but we didn't do this in Yavna." So Liyam Hasheni on the second day, Yara Rabbi Chanina Ben Noisha Rabbi Yosi Haglili. Rabbi Chanina was became the Chazan. Also Rabbi Kiva, and he did it like Rabbi Kiva, not like Rabbi Yochai Manuri. So Amr Hashem Haglili, Kacha Yuno Yigan Be Yavna. That was the meaning in Yavna. So you see that they were already not sure back then how to properly do the the most of Shemayin Esrei, right? So the main brother of Shimon Gamliel Kareb Akiva. So really, do you mean to say that Shimon Gamliel Halar Kareb Akiva? But Amar Kareb Akiva Malchias and Kedusha Sayyim. Kareb Akiva said that we put the Malchias together with Kedusha Sayyim and Amar Lurav Amar Luhu, and they told him Rav Shimon Gamliel Amar Kedusha Sayyim and Mesachrinus Amar Luhu. So. They, he said it with, he said the Rishim and said, no, you don't do it that way, you do it with Zechreinus. So how could you say that Rabbi Kiva did like Rishim and Gamliel? So Rav Zedra, Laimar, what he meant is Shataikin the Malchias. He didn't say that you go with Rabbi Kiva with how, how, where you put the bracha. He was just saying that you blow the shaifer by Malchias because Rabbi Kiva held it. You have to blow shaifer by Malchias. Fine. So the Yom Sheni. Yar Reb On the second day, Reb Chanina went down. My Sheni. What does it mean, the Yom HaSheni? Elam Yom Tif Sheni. If you mean the second day of Yom Tif, meaning two days Rosh Hashanah, the Mevra of Rula El, do you mean to say that they made El, um, like we always said, Abru means pregnant, I mean they put an extra day in El? Right? In order to have two days Rosh Hashanah back then, right? we said this many times, you needed to have two days Rosh Chodesh, right? You have the first day is the 30th day because we put an extra day into the month. And then the second day of Rosh Chodesh is Aleph. That's the way it was by Rosh Hashanah back then too. That's not the way Rosh Hashanah is nowadays. Rosh Hashanah by nowadays, it's Aleph and Beis, right? But back then, if they were keeping two days, that means the first day of Rosh Hashanah was Lamed. So they're saying, do you really, did they, does that mean that they made El have an extra day? And we had this a few times. We might Ezra ve'elech. From the days of Ezra and Anlai, Matzinu Elam over. They never made El have an extra day. So how could it be that in the second day he went down to Davin? That means there was that means they did make El into an F30 days. So Rachista, my Shani, and this I don't know, this I don't know how you learned this as Pashib Shah. What does it mean the second day? Layim Shani Lashana Haba. It means the second time that was the next day. The second day was Rosh Hashanah, which is a year later. When it says Layim Shani, it doesn't mean he went on the second day Rosh Hashanah. A year later, the second time they had Rosh Hashanah after this, and they clarified which way they should daven the Shemayin Esrei, that's what it means. So it meant a year later as opposed to the next day. Okay? I don't know. That's a sound sound. So it's interesting that that would, that, that would fit in like that. Yeah, fine. Okay, so then, so that's how we know these things. Fine. So then, Ein, Zazok the Mishnah, Ein Poichsen Me'asara Malchias, Me'asara Zechronis, Me'asara Shoifis. We don't make less than 10 psukim for Malchias, 10 psukim for Zechreinus, and 10 psukim for Shaifrus. If anybody wants to know why Musaf of Rosh Hashanah Shemayin Esri is the longest Shemayin Esri of the year, this is why, right? Because you have an extra 30 psukim that we're saying in the, in the Musaf. He says three from each one that he's, he's Yatza. Right? I would imagine Rav Yechonah Menuri probably had a pretty popular shul. Right, if he was he was doing he was saying one third one third of the psukim he said you have to say there's always those types of shuls. That's right, that's right. But the only thing is we're going to see in the Gemara that he says yotza sounds like if you did it it's oh. okay. It doesn't Wasn't sound like he's well, holding the right. Yeah. But then of course you have you know you'll have the shuls that say well kol shasatchak is kidiyevet dummy. So you know it's a shasatchak. The island's going to leave shul. Don't worry, we have a good proof for how, what... He Rosh had, he had that Tzol Chevra and the, the teen minion. That's what he had. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll <laughs> we're going to see on Omid Beis. We're going to see on Omid Beis. This is a Gishmak Araya. At least we admit we have ADD. At least we admit it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Um, we'll see on Omid Beis. We'll see. We'll see. There's a Gishmak Araya to those that come late to Shul. Okay, so Zagin Gemara. Hani Asar Malchis Kenegan Me. Why are the ten psukim of Malchias? What are they? What are they connected? So Omar Rebbe connected Asar Hilulim Shomar David Musafer Tilim. It's the ten times that David said Hallelujah or Hallelujah in in Tilim. 
So what does that mean? Halalum tuva hava. There weren't ten halalus in Tilim. The whole half of Tilim is halalus. What do you mean? There's only ten. So he says hanaf tixivi bihu halu baseka shoifer. All the ones that it says halu baseka shoifer halu beneva vechina halu baseva machal. There's ten of those in that parak of Tilim, which is the last parak in Tilim, right? Which we say in Shmon Esrei in, in on Rosh Hashanah. All those that that's that's where the ten. So that's where we get 10 from. Rabbi Yosef Amar Kenegad Aseris Adivris. We have 10 Psukim and Malchis because, like the Seris Adivris, Shenemrulai, the Maisha Besina that were told to Maisha and Sinai. Rabbi Yosef Amar Kenegad Asara Maimoros Shebehen Nobir Island, the 10 Mamoros that the world was created with. Hey Ninu, right? Which ones? What are they? By Yoimer. So we say by Yoimer, um, the Bereshis Teshava. There's only nine in Bereshis. Right, um, there's nine mamorim, so um, yeah, so how does it go? Uh, Hashem said, There's only nine of them if you count them. Rabban, is he on? He's got the uh, yeah, I don't know, there's nine. Yeah, um, I'm here, I'm here. I'm saying there's nine vayomers in Beresh, yeah, you yeah. can count them down, mm-hmm. yeah, so there's nine. So by it's a hanin of a yomer. By yomer bereishis teshava. There's only there's nine. So where do you get ten from? Bereishis nami maimer who? Right. The word bereishis is a maimer. Right. Tichsiv b'dvar Hashem shemayim nasu. By the word of Hashem, He made the shemayim. So when it says bereishis baro elikim as a shemayim, that's that's considered the tenth maimer. Right. So that's how we have. So basically, we have three pshatim. What the ten pesukim represent. Fine. So he says, if you say three for three, yotza. So now exactly what did Rabbi Yochanan Benuri mean? So Ibayelu, this is the shaila. Hey, How do we understand what Rabbi Yochanan Benuri said? Shalosh min ha-tayra, shalosh min ha-navim, shalosh min ha-ksuvim. Does it mean you have to say three psukim from Tyra navim, ha-ksuvim? Ta'avu teisha, which means that you have already nine psukim. Fi'ika bin ha-yuchad, and the only difference between his shita and the Tanakama is one positive, right? The Tanakama said you have to say 10 psukim. The way it breaks down is three Taira, three Nevi'im, three Ksuvim, and then one more of Taira, which we're going to see. So Rabbi Yochanan Manuri, when he said we say three psukim, he meant three from each. So really that comes out to nine. So really the only difference between him and the Tanakama is one positive, right? So Naftali, that's not going to make him a, a very popular show. He's only saving you one positive. Yeah? Oi Dilma... Echad min ha Torah v'echad min ha Didn't Rabbi Kiva ask originally? What are you saying? The first kasha of the Gemara. Why didn't the first kasha of the the first shot of the Gemara really right after the, the first Mishnah on the page? That was what's Rabbi Kiva saying? And says so Rabbi Kiva saying, why do you say ten? Say nine. Right. So Rabbi Yechon Menuri essentially says, yeah, that would be okay. That's yeah. It's not a kasha in Rabbi Yechon Menuri. Not a ka- it's not a kasha. We're just trying to understand what he's saying. No. Well, if Rabbi Yechonah Manuri says, yeah, we can say nine, then what's Rabbi Yechonah Manuri? Rabbi Yechonah Manuri asks Rabbi Yechonah Manuri, I'm going to Rabbi Yechonah Manuri. Right. Right. The Gemara explained that means why are you saying time to sukkim? Say nine. Right. That is a kasha on Rabbi Yechonah Manuri. And here Rabbi Yechonah Manuri is saying, oh, you do say nine. It's not much of a kasha if he, if he holds that. If you, say, if you go with this tzad, yeah, Rabbi Yechonan is going to say, yeah. I mean, Rabbi Kiva didn't go with his side, presumably. Right. So what's the Gemara asking? I hear, I hear. All right, uh, I don't know. That's a good question. It's a good question. Okay, so let's see. Vaiter, I don't know what's the other side. Echem min ha He meant one pasuk of Torah. Echem min ha-Navim. One from Navim. Echem min ha-Ksuvim. And one from Ksuvim. The Havim lu So that's three. You can be an Ayatuba, and then there's obviously a big difference. He's knocking it down from 10 psokim to only 3 psokim. So Toshima, Titania, ain't poichsen me asara malchias, me asara zachronis, me asara shoifas. We don't do less than 10 of each. Bim Omar Sheva Mikulan. If you say seven, then Yotza. Can I get Shiva Rikiyim? Negat the seven, how do you call it? The seven, not skies, heavens, seven heavens. Yechon Menuri Omar, ha poichas la yipchas mi Sheva. He says, don't do less than seven. And if you say three from each one, 
then you yotze k'neged Torah and neviim uksuvim, right? So you want to say it neged Torah and neviim uksuvim. V'ami lo k'neged kaihanim leviim yisraelim. Yeah, like that. So, like right, I was saying, right, yeah, right. It's a, yeah, it sounds like the Haggadah. So what do you see? Um, so you need you need three three psukim for each one from Malchus the Chronist and Shavuos. So who knows? Shmuel halacha Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri. The halacha is like Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri, that if you say three three psukim, then you're yotze, right? But again, Rabbi Yochanan Manuri is saying it as a, as a bidiyevid, not a l'chatchila. If you said three psukim, then you're yotza. Not that you could open a shul that only says three psukim. Right? Fine. Is, okay. Then. Is, is a part of this Gemara also that if you say if you say three, that this, this bidiyevid is only one from Tyre, one from Rabbi one from Kesuvim? What happens if he says three from the Tyre? Sounds like that's not going to work. No? Right. That's included in this. Yeah. That's what I would think. Um, yeah. Fine. So, Zog the Mishnah. Ain Maskirin. We don't mention Zichra and Malchus for Shoifel Sheparonius. We don't say any Psukim that bring up Hashem's kingship when there's going to be punishments. Meaning, like negative psukim. Why? Because we don't want to bring anything that's negative about punishments on Rosh Hashanah. You start with Taira and you finish with Navi. Right? So, this is interesting. You start, you would think that the what we have to do three psukim of Taira, three psukim from Nevi'im, and three psukim of Ksuvim. So, you would think that you should do that in the order. Taira should come first, then Nevi'im, and then Ksuvim. That's the order. Tanach. But that's not the way it goes. We do Torah, then we do Ksuvim, then we do Nevi'im. Right? And the reason for that is, is because most of the Pesukim are from Tilim. Right? And, uh, and, and since, since they're from Tilim, Tilim came before, before uh, that's what Taisa says, Tilim came before um, the Nevi'im. Before a lot of the Nevi'im. So the Mela, well, not before Yeshua and Shoftim, but uh, but it came before a lot of the other Nevi'im. So therefore, we go out of order. We do Ksuvim first and then Nevi'im. Rabbi Yaisi, I mean, Hishlam, but Taira, Yotza. Rabbi Yaisi says, if you finish off with Taira, then you're Yotza, meaning the last Pasuk finishes with Taira, then you're Yotza, which we'll see on Amad Beis exactly what that means. Okay, so on Amad Beis now. So Malchius, what, what, what kind of psukim have negative, have Malchius of punishments? Kigoyin, chai aninu, ma'ashem alikim, im loi b'yad chazaka, b'zeroi natuya, v'chema, v'shvucha em loich aleichem. Right? That is, Hashem is saying that he was, he's going to, he's going to deal with us strongly. When I'm going to zeroi natuya, and with uh, an anger, and that's how I'm going to be a king on them. So that's obviously not a pasuk that we would want to say on Rosh Hashanah that Hashem is going to deal with us with anger. There's a the pasuk says Kol ki hai rischa lirsach kuchu berichu alon v'lefrei kinan that Hashem and should get he'll get angry at us and then he's going to be pyrrhic because he's going to redeem us. So, but so why not? I mean, it's like that pasuk says he's going to redeem us, but he says no. Even the barischa, since he's going to redeem us with anger, at kuri rischa bereishat leimad karinu. We don't want to mention rischa anger on reishat on Rosh Hashanah. We don't want to mention that. Okay, that's so that's the pasuk of Malchus that would be with punishment. Zikaron kagon vayisko ki basar heimon. He remembered that they were basar, right? Ruach haylech v'lo yashiv. Any time. If the Derech Klau, whenever the Gemara brings a Pasuk, it says the Vav, Gimel, Vav, the Big Gimer, then the Iker Limud is from the rest of the Pasuk, not from the Pasuk that's brought. I guess, the, I don't know why the printers didn't print the, the rest of the Pasuk. I'm saying my Gemara has it here on the side. It has the end of the Pasuk. Right? Because what do you learn out? Yisko ki basar heima. What does that tell you? He remembered that they were flesh? What is that? That's not, what's the negative there? The negative is the next four words in the Pasuk. Ruach Haylech for Yashub. 
right? Then they're not going to come back. That's not something that we want to know. That's not something we want to mention on Rosh Hashanah. Shoifer, could go in tiku, but shoifer be giver. Below the shoifer and giver. And then the, the Pasuk finishes, chatzai tzai um hariu, base oven, acharecha binyamin. Right? The, en- the enemy is coming after you, and uh, and meaning it's going to come after Binyamin. So that's also that's also not that's also negative. But but if you want to say psukim that talk about Hashem's kingship and remembering Hashem and it's referring to and the bad things are referring to Goyim, then we're allowed to. Malchus was Malchus going Hashem Baloch Yigzuam. Hashem is going to be a king. And he's going to scare the pe- the nations. If we're going to Hashem Malach Alam Ba'ed Abdu Goyim Me'yar Tzenu. Hashem is going to be the king forever and he's going to get the Goyim out of our land. See, Karin, Kugoyim Zichar Hashem Levnei Edoim. Right? Es Yem Rishulayim Ha'aymerim Aru Aru Adai Yosai Dvah. Parents, there's another song of the da, right? So, it's, he's, that's talking about Hashem getting rid of the Edoim from, from Amarit Yisrael. Shoifer, Kugoyim Vashem Alekim B'Shoifer Yitoka. Right, and Hashem will blow the shofar, and it's going to go out from the from the how do you touch Sarah's Taimon? They uh, uh, how do you say it? The the Taimon is a place. hurricane. Yeah, like of like heavy winds or whatever it is, right? I think we say this one, and don't we say this pasuk? We do say this. All pasuk. of these, yes, yeah. we do. What? Um, All of these. No, of the guy No, we well, don't say that. Yeah. First few we don't say. I don't think. I have an excuse. I'm not chazan for Muslim, so I don't know. I'm not uh, like Corona. I was, but that's uh, that was already that's already long forgot. Depends on the year. <laughs> no, you also yeah. did it once when he was sick. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying it. I didn't do it enough times that uh, that uh, <laughs> the last one we say. I think the other ones. I don't. Okay. Anyways, uksiv Hashem tzvakos yagen aleim. Hashem will will protect them. That's right. the chasimah sabracha. Came tugging alam kabish lemelka. Yeah, yeah, that part. That's yes. Yeah. yeah, fine, good. So ain't maskirin zikaron shel yachid. We also don't mention any zikaron that went to a yachid, not a ram. Anyway, it has to be for the public. Afilu l'tayva. Even if it's remembering somebody for good, if it was only applicable to one person, then it doesn't. Uh, we don't say if you're going zechreni Hashem b'tzayin amecha. Remember, remember me, Hashem, when you're showing Ratzon to your nation. Remember me, Latoiva. So anything that's for a Yachid, we don't mention, which obviously the Musa to be learned from that is that Kla Yisrael is, we're in it together, Ratzon Achtas. There shouldn't be any Psokim mentioned when it's just talking to an individual. It should be for Kla Yisrael. Well, yeah. it, it's interesting because we do say that Yisrael Kim is Nayach. So that way around, when it's from Hakadosh Baruch Hu, we do say it for you. Right, meaning it's from no, the Yachid, right. we don't say it. That's a good point, right? When it's the Yachid um, initiating, that's a yeah. What are you saying, Rabbi? You muted. You muted. Sorry, Noach was the whole world. That's true. Oh, the next passage uh, it says ves ves bana vacherit like that. That passage we don't that's, say. That's, we just have Yisker like it's Noach. It doesn't say the rest of the Pasuk? It's the next Pasuk. I'm saying it doesn't say it? I don't think, I don't know. No. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay, whatever. I don't know. Fine. Pikdainas Arayu Kizachrainas. Pikadon, right, to be remembered. Like Vashem Paka de Sara, that's gonna be the next pasuk. That's like that is considered like Sephronis Gugain. Vashem Paka de Sara, Shem remembered Sara. Gugain, the Koid Pekadi Yeshem, I'm going to remember you. Divi Rabbi Yasi, from Yehuda Aimer, Einon Kizachronis. No, Pekadan is not like Sephronis. Right? So that way, I'm like, is whether that would be considered. Rabbi Yasi, he now with the Pekdainas Aray Henke Sephronis. Granted, Pictinus is the same thing as Zechreinus, Hashem Pogad Asar, Pekad of the Yachidu, but Hashem remembered Sara, that's that's a Yachid, which by the way, that slugs up what you just said, Gershon. Right? Okay, whatever. Yeah. So Gemara answers, Kivan to Asu Rabbim, Minah Kirabim, which is a fascinating answer I found. It's, it's 
we're saying we're not doing a yachid. So it says Hashem remembered Sarah. No, but since God's Klai Yisrael came out from Sarah, so that's considered like a rabbin. Right? So, okay, even though right then and there was a yachid, which would answer your noyach. <laughs> so we go around and around. Okay, there we go. That's what Aaron uh, said. He said it with noyach was the whole world. Yeah, yeah, right. He that's answered true. the Gemara's yeah. answer. Yeah, 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 very good. Fine. Then, Sushorim Rashaychim Vinosu Pishayon Vyavi Melacha Koboy. Right? We say this some at night. I mean, many places say it at night, and we also say it during the Shmanes. So, me who's a Melacha Koboy, Hashem Isus Vigibar, Hashem Gibar Melchama. Sushorim Rashaychim Vinosu Pishayon Vyavi Melacha Koboy, me who's a Melacha Koboy, Hashem Tzavakai, who Melach Hakavoy Tzela. So, these are all, these are the Psokim from Melach. So Rishayna Shtayim, the first Pasuk, has two times Melech. Shniya Shalish. And the Pasuk, the second one, has three. Has three. Divir Rabbi Yaisi. Yudayim and Rishayna Achas, the Rishayna only has one Melech. Shniya, the second one has two. Okay? It's because why? Because he's like, Mihuza Melech HaKavayid. Rashi says, that doesn't count. According to Rabbi Yehuda, that's not Hashem ruling over us. That's just a mention that Hashem is the king. Okay, I don't know the technicals exactly why each one is saying which one is, is considered a legit melech, which one's not. Okay. Zamru kim zameru, zamru l'malkeinu zameru, ki melech al kol ha'aretz elekim. Right? This we say before um, before tkiya shayfan. Right? So shtayim, that's two, because it says malkeinu, and melech says it twice. The Rabbi Yaisi, Rabbi Yudaimer, Achas, it only means one. Right? Okay. Beshavin, bemelech elekim, al kol al hagoyim elekim, yoshav, atisei kotshoi, that's shehi achas. They both agree that even though it says Hashem twice, then that's only that's only once. Shehi achas, that it's one. Right? Because Hashem sitting on his kisei, kisei kotshoi, that's not Hashem, that, that, that's not a posuk about Hashem being our king. It's just saying that Hashem is sitting on his throne. Okay, Zikaron, Sheesh by Trua. Zikaron, also we want to have that it has the word Trua in it. Kagan Shabbos and Zikron Trua Mikra Kaidish. So you see that Zikaron has to do with, with Shaifer. Aimra, Im Hazachronis, Vaimra Shaifer. So then you can either use this Pasuk with the Psukim of Zikronis, or you can use this Pasuk with the Psukim of Shaifer. It's the verb Yaisi. The Yud Aimer, Eina Aimra, Ella Im Hazachronis Bavad. You only say it with the Zikronis, you don't say it with Shaifer. Malchus sheyesh imay trua. So we on Malchus that has with it a trua. Kigain Hashem lekav imay suas melech by Hashem is with him and he's there. He has the trua of the king. Imrim ima Malchias vaimrim ima Shifras. You can say it with the Malchias or Shifras because it has Malchias and Shifras in it. Divrei Rabbi Yosi. But you never ain't a imre ele im a Malchias levad. You can only say it with Malchias. Trua sheyini ma loiklum. But let's say the word trua. In a pasuk that has nothing with it, not not malchus, not zechronis, we're going yoyim trua yia lochem. I'm rema shayfres. That goes with shayfres. The Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehuda, I'm er. Ain't I'm rakol ikur. He doesn't go with it at all. So basically, what we have here is that we have Rabbi Yehuda being much more um, a picky is the right word, I guess, with which psukim are accepted from malchus, zechronis, and shayfres. Every one of them. Every one of them, Rabbi Yaisi says, yeah, we could count this Pasuk. And then Rabbi Yehuda says, um, says you can't. Right? When um, was our Nusuk written? I know I would love to know the answer to that question. I mean, every other Nusuk was written way before this. Yeah. Here they're arguing about what you're allowed to say, not what you do say. It means right. the Nusuk was only written way after this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know when they when they decided to. Uh, it seems like. It seems like we go with Rabbi Yossi, no? Maybe not. I no, don't we don't go like any of this. We don't say Zamru Lelikim. We say before Tekiyas, not in Malchus. Right, that's true. That's true. And the first Pesukim it brings. We don't have those. Well, Susharim we do. No, Susharim before. Yeah. Okay, whatever it is, fine. So Maslo Batayro Mashlam Ben Navi. So we say that you start with the Psukim and the Torah and you finish with Navi. Rabbi Yaisi Yamarim Hishlam Batayro Yatsa. 
If you finish the Torah, you have Im hishlim, the Eved in, lechatchila noi, right? So if you, um, if you finished off with Torah, then good, but the Eved, um, but the Eved, it works, lechatchila noi. Loi, v'atani, Rabbi Yossi, Yom, ha-mashlam, b'Torah, reizim ha-shubach. If you finish with Torah, that's a good thing. So Gemara says, aim ha-mashlam. He's saying he should finish off, not that if he did, but the Gemara says, v'ha'im hishlim katani, doesn't say that he should finish with Torah. It says if he did, the evidence of the Torah says, says, He starts with the Torah and he finishes with the Novi. says, You should finish with the last Pasuk of the Torah. I mean, the last Pasuk of the 10 Pesukim should be Torah, but if you didn't, then you're Yatza. So basically, what comes out, Vasikin how you mashlim and Isa Batara the Vasikin finished with, with Tyra. So what comes out is that we did a total about face in the Mishnah. It sounds like if you finish with Tyra, we're accepting it. Now we're totally turning it on its head and we're saying, no, you should finish it with Tyra. If you finished it with something else, then you're okay. So what I asked, Bishlam is the with Shifras Ikatuba. Right? So it's good, Zakhrainus and Shifras. So there's a lot of psukim, Elamalchius. But Malchias, Tlas Hu Dahavion. There's only three Psukim in the Torah that talk about Hashem's kingship. Hashem Elekav Ima Yotruas Melech Boy. That says in Bamidbar. And that's Vahibi Shuran Melech. That's in Devorim. Right? And Hashem Yimlaich Le'alam Va'ed. That's by Oz Yashir. Ba'anan Ba'inan Eser. But we need ten. See, Ba'anan Ba'inan Eser, we need ten. The Lekan, you don't have it now. Um... I have this is my pet peeve. I'm sorry, I have to stop with this a second. What does the Gemara mean? We don't need 10 psukim from Torah. Gemara is asking, where are you getting this, this, all these psukim and malchius in the Torah? Right? So the Gemara brings three examples where it says, it says Hashem is the Mela. And then the Gemara says, and we need 10. Right? And you don't have 10. What do you mean? It doesn't, you don't need 10. You need four. You need 10 psukim, three from Nach, three from Ksuvim. You don't need 10. No, it's 10 from uh, Malchus, Zechronos, and Shofros combined. Right, ten right. From the Torah. Correct. But the Gemara is asking, the Gemara is asking now the ones from Torah. Yeah, I'm saying 10 total in total. Right, I understand. No, no, and the Hanami, I'm just from, saying that you need 10 total. That's the way Rashi says it. You need 10 total. But why is the Gemara saying Vanan Be'inon Eser Veleka? Why does it say Vanan Be'inon Arba Veleka? Right? We only need we need four. We're looking for the four melechs of the Torah, not not the ten. The ones from the Vimaksum we already said that you'll have, right? We're saying where do you get it. So one is asking, we got three. Where are you getting a fourth? Why is it saying you get it for a tenth? Okay, I don't know. I understood that the, the Gemara is trying to tell us that there's no havamina that we would take it from the Vimaksum. So you need ten, and the only the only possible place to take that from is the Torah, not the Vimaksum. Can't be that you'd have more psukim from the VM than the Tyrus. Um, okay, but it's still I'm saying, why would you think you need four? You need three from the VM, three from Ksum, and three from the Tyra. Why would you think that the VM Ksum is gonna help for the Tyra? No, you have three from the Tyra. You need, you need a fourth. fourth. You so if the guy would have said four, it would have said hey, you need it from the Tyra. Take from the VM, take from Ksubim. There's plenty of psukim we're talking about Malchus. Right. It said, I asked to show me that I need that tenth one to be from the Torah. It can't be from anywhere else. I understand, but that's that's because we just got finished saying that the fourth, the last one should be from the Torah. Right, but if I have a problem, the, the, if you, I mean, I if you don't have, have, you can't find it, so you, you don't have to so take from okay. the VM. Okay, I hear. All right, fine. So I'm of Huna. Avuna says, no, Toshima, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Lekin, Hashem Echad. That's Malchus, Divir Rabbi Yossi, which is the way we do it, right? The last, the last Pasuk of the, of the Malchus is Shema Yisrael, Hashem Lekin, Hashem Echad. Divir Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yehuda Oimer, ain't a Malchus, Rabbi Yehuda Lishitasa, right? If that's not Malchus. That's Malchus. Yeah? Fine. Divir, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, no, no. Ain't a malchus. Review this says that's not malchus. 
Then the Gemara is saying, Malchus, that's also Malchus. Malchus. Fine, and then in the last one, that's Malchus. Malchus. Again, Rabbi Yehuda is saying that all these things are not considered Malchus, right? Um, which means that we pass him. What? Rabbi Yehuda only said nine psukim from Alchiu. Why are you saying that? He doesn't have a fourth pasuk from the Tyrus. Rabbi Yehuda gave three options. He said none of them are good. No. Um, no, but we go with, yeah. No, we pass him like Rabbi Yehuda. Right. But what did Rabbi Yehuda do? Rabbi Yehuda also. Well, what did Rabbi Yehuda do for his fourth? I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Okay, fine, let's do one more Mishnah. So, Ever Lufnei Ateva, the Yom Tif, Shal Rosh Hashanah, Hasheni Maskia. So, if whoever goes to be the Chazan on Yom Tif or Rosh Hashanah, the second, meaning the second Chazan, the Baal Musaf, is, that's meaning they blow by Musaf. Ubashas HaHalal, and by Halal, Harishan, Makra Zalba. When we do Halal, Halal goes with Shachas, right? Who would have thought that this is a Mishnah, right? When we do Halal, Halal goes with Shachas, when we do Tkiyah Shoifer, it goes with Musuf. So why is that? Maishna Sheni Maskia. How come the second one does with Shoifer, meaning by Musuf? Meshum, the Beroivam Hadras Melech. You got to love this terrace. Because there's more people in Shul. <laughs> so you're telling me that there's more people in Shul for Musuf on Rosh Hashanah. That means they're all coming late. They're missing Shachras. There's a bigger crowd for Musuf. Now you can't tell me it means the ladies. I'm not going to buy that. It's I mean, it's 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 people that come a couple times a year, and that's when they show up. Is that what? So they only come from Musaf? Is that what you're saying? Because they come, uh, you know, it's, it's early, you know, like nine o'clock's early. You got to get there 10, 10, 30. That's what my parents and I used to do. I hear. No, it's for those who are having Kiddush after Shachar. I, I was you're just going to say that. You're going to lose them if you start blowing Shafer right away. Um, I right. don't know. Whatever truth, it's probably all of the above, you know. Whatever it is, whatever it is, you see, you see that the island wasn't coming till till uh till much later, which I tell you. I mean, the, it's doesn't, right doesn't say it's the right thing to do. From Shiakov, they davin vesikin, so the island didn't come for shachris. It was too early. They came late, and they blew. And they didn't. And they didn't blow most of my shachris. And they didn't blow shayf. Excuse me. So they came from Musaf and they had chakra, they had the shaifa. So they where they have a chakras? I don't they have chakras whenever they but they weren't coming six o'clock. Why wouldn't they, they hear Mus, why wouldn't they hear chauffeur by chakras? They didn't, they didn't well, blow that's, shaifa. Well, well that's the question. Why they're not blowing Even shaifa. the Basikan minion was too early for them to blow shaifa. I hear. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, whatever it, it is, is it's all right. Because they didn't want to wake up. Mashmah that they made Kiddush. What? Where do you get that? Otherwise, what's the difference? It's the same time. You, all you did was switch cousin. Nothing changed. If you don't make a gap between chakras and Muslim, well, I mean, the guy shows up. For, why are you saying that? The guy, the guy shows, shows up, up for Muslim. The guy shows up for Muslim. Well, hold on. But, but Tkiyas are now part of Muslim, right? Yes. So let's say chakras, chakras, uh, Chazaris of Shots finishes at 10 o'clock. When does Musaf start? 10.01. No. So either Tkiyas start at 10.01 with the... With the no, why didn't they know? They could have made yeah. Tkiyas yeah. start of the Shmanesri. You have laning and they did have like to the blow before that. They could have made Tkiyas as part of Shmanesri of Shachris. <laughs> no? As part of Shmanesri? That's what he's... That's what... Why not? Isn't that what you're saying? <coughs> why, yeah. Isn't it's a separate well, because we're, we we're talking the about making them as part of the Shemina Esrei. That's what's like going the on here. Sardim, the Sardim do that. They do it in the middle of Chazar Tishat. You know, so you move it to Shachat. Right before the Chazan starts Chazar Tishat. You make no, the but they do it by Malchus, Zechrenus, and Shifris. Because that's when we mention Shifer. You don't mention Shifer and Shachris. You don't mention Malchus and Shachris. That's what we're asking. Why? What we should have the whole Musaf in Shachris? 
Just do switch the whole the Tillis? Do the whole Shaifer thing. So the Shaifer comes because of Malchus, Akronis, and Shaifers. So now you're asking, you should have the whole Malchus, Akronis, and Shaifers, and Shaifers. Make Musaf Shachris and make Shachris Musaf. Basically. That, that doesn't, I don't understand that. All right. Why would he do know. that? I don't there know. There has to be a gap somewhere. We blow after Shachris. After Shemina Esri, we blow Shachris. The question is, is it part of Shachris or part of Musaf? I don't think it's talking Musaf about the two, the, the Tchis to Meyushim. I think it's finished. Well, let's finish the next mission, then we could fight it out, because the island is late. One second. It's Ihochi. Halo nami name of Bishani, Mishum de Rivam as well. So why don't we also say halo with Musaf? Because you'll have Rivam. So we slug that up. Elo, Maishna halo de Barishan. Why do we put halo with Shachris? Mishum, there's reason Makdim and the Mitzvahs. Because if you don't want to do the Mitzvah as soon as possible. Tkia nami never Barishan. Mishum, there's reason Makdim and the Mitzvahs. Do the Tkias also. All right. Yachanan Bashas, Gezeris Hamalchashanu. So a very interesting terrace that this Mishnah was taught by the Gezeres Samalchus, and they answered them from blowing Shoifer. So they said, they, they knew that they're going to blow Shoifer in the morning by Shachris. So they pushed it to Musaf. Because then they knew the Goyim wouldn't come. They wouldn't come around. Once the Goyim saw them not doing it by Shachris, then they would let them do it by Musaf. Which is fascinating because you think the Goyim were so stupid. That what that they came for shachris? Oh, they're not blowing shoifa. Why we'll not? Like they don't. They don't know. I mean, these guys knew they, pretty good what the yidden were doing. Right? They must have had to have sanka. If the guy would have shown up for shachris, then they would have been there right after shachris. Um, I, I don't know. I, I hear. Okay, I don't know. What second? So this tosis, I hold this is mamish. This tosis has to do with Hanukkah. This Tosis says, okay, but there's, there's no longer Gezeira, so let's go back to Shachris. Right? So Tosis says, um, no, because Shema Yachsa Dava How do we know it's not going to go back? How do we know that the is not going to go back? Chas v'shalom. And we're going to have to push it back to Musaf. So therefore, we just keep it at Musaf, which is an answer to all those guys that want to light the Menorah outside. Right? They ask, well, why are we like the menorah outside? It's freedom over here. No, because Shema Yasser Dava Lukukulai. Right? We're in, when we're in Chutzlar, we don't like menorah outside. Finished. How do we know that the, that the crazy people are not going to come after us again? Right? Um, yeah. So that's that's what But then Toysvis, so that's that's the first thing. Then Toysvis also has a different shot. Right, he brings he brings a, he brings a Gemara he brings a Yerushalmi, um, and they thought because they heard the shofar once in the morning, and they thought it was the Yidin, um, it was it wasn't it was a it was a war cry, it was a war cry, right, um, and then they came and they attacked the Yidin because they thought the Yidin were getting ready to attack them, so because of that, um, so therefore they started blowing it by Musaf. Meaning, so why, why, so why weren't they scared by Muslim? So the reason they weren't scared by Muslims is because if you're going to attack, you're going to attack in the morning, attack not in, at, in the six right. in the morning, not eleven. Right, in, like, right. In my brunch. Yeah. Right, exactly. So that's the so that's the Yerushalmi's shot that Tosis brings. Right? So it's a very interesting, very interesting Tosis. Okay, let's just finish to the mission. Right, famous, famous thing. Like saying that you do it Bishas Halal. Then it's mashma that there's no ha- that we should do it b'shas halal to shay first. And mashma there's no halal. Why not? My time. Why are they not singing in front of you? Rosh Hashanah be yomi kippur and Rosh Hashanah yom kippur. Amar lahem, Hashem told back to them. Efshar melech yeshav kisei din. The king is sitting and judging the sifrei chayim, sifrei mason, psuchin lefanav. And he has the svarim of those that are alive and those that are dead, right? So Sifri Mason, that's the makar for uh, this sentence is the makar for, uh, what do you call it? Yizkar, right? That's Sifri Mason. Mason are also being judged, right? Pesuchan lefana Yisrael oimrim shira. And Yisrael is going to say shira. So that's why we don't say halal. And this is what we pass, and that's why we don't say halal um, in uh, on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. Um, which the, the Mafar Shemes, somebody today asked me, he told me a Gura, I have said that uh, what we say, Az Yashir, 
and we say Shir Shal Yaim on Rosh Hashanah, right? So we do we that. We that every day. Part right? of our regular davening. Right. right. So that's that's basically what they have. That has nothing. That's not special. That's not special for Rosh Hashanah, right? So, um, or or yeah. you could say at least about the beginning. There's two types for Zimra and Pesukei de Zimra. It looks like from this gemara, right. Pesukei de Zimra means pruning, not zemer, not song. Oh, that's a really deep shot. That's a really deep shot. Right, but the only thing is the cash. The only thing is, um, is that Yidin should be happy, right? We're supposed to be dressed nicely. We're supposed to take haircuts. We're supposed to cut our nails because we're confident that we're going to come out with a good din. So why shouldn't we say halal? So that's really what their taina was. That's really what their taina was. The malachim. Why are they not happy to Yidin? Why are they not confident? They should be saying shira. So that's what Hashem is saying. Afilu hachi, you can't do it when you're under when you're under duress, right? That's that's basically that's basically it. Anyways, okay, so we'll stop here. Sorry, went a little late. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. Zag is. Wasn't it, wasn't it yeah. like the the original Az Yashir was was obviously done after you know they they, they sang Shira by by the Yamsuf. After all the mitz- uh, all the mitzvahim were were drowned, right? That's where as Yashir, so they came out the other side and they sang shira, right? So we, we're allowed to. It's a, it's a certain type of halal that was done after after something relatively heavy and tragic happened, right? Like we we. I, I have to read this. Maybe read this what are you saying? I don't say. What are you saying? Do I mean it's it's not tragic? Is it tragic? I mean, you can't. Medrash and Yashir. Doesn't the Medrash and Anaz Yashir talk about that? But well, you're not supposed to. I mean, you're not, you're we not supposed to Gemara. celebrate. You're not supposed to celebrate when when bad when things happen. Vecha, when, when, bad, when bad things happen to different the Brias Hashem, right? Right, right. So, but, 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 but they but they sang hollow. The Mamish sang a hollow. I think I think the Medrash brings the the Malachim asked that to the Abish but when Kali Smell sang as Yashir, how is this okay to you? Yeah. There's, there's a back and forth in the Medrash about it. I think I can't remember the whole thing, but I believe it's a Medrash. Medrash Rabba on Right. I don't know. I feel like I feel, unless unless we're like we're not okay with the idea of, of kissing all you know, grease in the wheels to get what, you know, kids up to the judge. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you do. You, you would sing hollow. You're trying to get the best possible outcome of judgment. So what are you going to do? Not, not praise the person that's going to give you that judgment? Or the being or the entity or whatever? Whatever you want to say? Okay. My daughter just presented me with this. I, it's very hard for me to focus right now. Just trying to stay with the kid. Okay, fine. That's a pretty good looking thing right there. Isn't it? <laughs> By the way, when can we have a a a, uh, mm. a barbecue seum parrots? Um, when you give us a little more than a few days, a few days to get ready for it, you know? Well, listen, no, listen. Mayid, we're making a seum a week. Are we making a big one after Mayid? We got him. How nice. can he not make a seum on Mayid? We got a. That's a big one, uh, Simon. When is it? The week of Purim? About, it's, it's about, the week about of a week before Beberach, a week Something before like Purim, I think. Yeah. The only problem is, I don't know if you should be happy, like the tonight's Gemara. I don't know if you could be really happy that you finished something if you know your vomus is around the bed. That's the only thing. As long as no, I got the only, the only way you'll be able to learn your vomus is if we're really happy with the Mayid. Hey, let me tell you. I got man. through. I got through Erevin. I think I'll be all right. You know. I don't know, Simon. Man. <laughs> no, no, it's very, very different. <laughs> you know, I, I I don't mind wild. I don't mind crazy things. I don't mind serious logic. But the the, the Where are you super, guys already? Super technical stuff. I got. They close in six minutes. Simon, it's both. It's crazy and super technical. Have a look now at the Rashi. And get, in. get a list from us. on the base. I'm not getting that, Brian. The uh, biggest what? Rashi in Shas. Yavamas Tess Amadeus. I'm pretty sure you can. I have to, I have it to goes find through one. all the Tzaras Erva and it explains all the cases. It is highly technical because some of them don't make sense. Yeah. 
it, it's a huge rush. You know what? Let's not let's not let's not be sad about you, Vomus. Let, well, hopefully we'll celebrate. I'm excited you. for it. I'm excited for it. Okay. If if I could have made it, I don't think it calls women Cyrus. My. Uh, oh my God! Causes uh... <laughs> Oh, this is being recorded. I, Shoot. There, 